Hello riders, Eric from Rider Adventures here. Uh, chiming in on a topic that I hope helps you, and the question of whether you should ship or rent a motor, ship your own motorcycle or rent for your international motorcycle trip. And Ride Adventures, RideADB.com, uh, we've been running for just about 10 years now on the premise that most people have um, a limited amount of time, two to three weeks for a, a big motorcycle trip to go somewhere else in the world. And, you know, like these folks right in here, right now, I'm guiding a, a group of uh, 10 nice people from the U.S. and Italy and, and Russia on this 18-day adventure through Chile and Argentina, crossing the Andes Mountains, back and, course, back and forth across the border, all the way down to Tierra del Fuego, through Patagonia to Ushuaia and uh, the end of the world to finish the trip. But these are riders that really, like yourself, perhaps only have two or three weeks available I, uh, you know, to ship your own bike and do all the paperwork and the research and figure out how to do that successfully and make sure all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted, the I's are dotted, and uh, that your bike will actually be available when you are scheduled to have time off of your work and when your flight is scheduled for and you've got permission from your significant other to go do this thing, and that your bike is definitely going to be available and it's not going to get caught up in customs or some other kind of shipping problem, a labor, a custom uh, workers strike, the longshoremen, the, the freight and dock workers from different parts of the world can go on strike and all of a sudden you arrive in Santiago, Valparaiso or wherever to get your bike out and start your trip and guess what? Just like we've documented through some blog stories on our website, the guys that I met years ago and, and people we hear from every year need to rent a motorcycle at the last minute because guess what, they got there and the bike had some problem or they pissed off the wrong customs official and somebody's having a bad day and they can't get their bike unleashed or released from customs and immigration services and now you're stuck sitting there in an office when you wanted to be riding the things that were the routes that we're doing now. So again, that's why Ride Adventures exists in the first place is that most people only have two or three weeks and so for such a short trip, we've got these bikes. We probably have the same bike you ride at home uh, already here, properly maintained, revised, and, 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 and replaced after a couple or three seasons. Um, we have the crash bars and luggage already fitted out on the bike. We take care of the insurance and paperwork for you. You literally hop off the plane, show up at the shop. If you do a self-guided fly and ride package with, it, with us, all your hotels are already waiting and prepaid. You're going to have a road book that's going to show you where to go each day so you can follow and find gas and fuel and see the best routes all the way to your beautiful prepaid hotel. That is such an easier thing to do than, again, trying to figure out what happens if something goes wrong. And uh, like many people before, there was one guy, I'll tell a quick story, one guy had for two years planned his big epic international voyage. He was going to do all of South America over the course of three months. One month into his trip, he contacted us and, and explained with heartache that his bike was still impounded in customs and he was having problem, problems getting it released. So one third of his three month vacation was already gone. He contacted us and he said, uh, I explained the cost for him to rent for two months. Yes, this is a significant expense. Uh, you know, these are bikes that are very expensive to buy and register and maintain, especially in Latin America and Chile, very expensive country. Uh, the bikes cost, you know, in some cases, you know, I'm not going to say twice what they cost in the U.S., for example, but they're really expensive. So the rental of two months, he decided, no, I'm going to stick it out. I'm just about to get my bike released. And... Another month went by, a whole month, so two months of his three-month epic voyage that he had been blogging about and telling friends about and Facebooking about and sharing all this news about. Two months of it had been wasted just trying to get his bike unstuck from customs. And in the end, yes, he did end up renting a motorcycle from us so that he could at least salvage that final month. I, the heartache that goes into that... Um, is only, I guess, partially um, overruled by the joy that we get in providing these bikes reliably to our customers that book far enough in advance. That's the other thing. He didn't get to ride the bike that he wanted. I think he was shipping an R1200 GS over here 
uh, to ride, and that's what was stuck in customs. But by the time he waited and waited until, you know, last minute, now he needed a bike to hop on. We don't have these bikes sitting around and available. It's not like most rental car companies where you can just wait and wait and then get a bike at the last or a car at the last second. Book your Patagonia trip and any other trip that we offer, really, as they get busier and busier. Each spot that we offer services in. Book these things six or eight months in advance if you can, sometimes longer. Really peak season dates, people don't believe me, don't believe us when we're talking to them. They don't believe that these things can sell out. If you have specific dates needed, you can sell out six or eight months in advance. Because prime time riding for, you know, the best weather like we're having again here today, way down south, and we're still, I'm just wearing my body armor, uh, Alpine Stars bionic armor jacket with a jersey over it and a, a t-shirt underneath. I'm perfectly comfortable here. It's like 74 degrees and sunny. But consult with us about when you should go. Do so plenty in advance. And really reconsider this thing about shipping your own bike. I know it's satisfying to have your own bike and you got it fitted just the way you want to. But really, in every situation we have uh, these bikes available, you're welcome to bring in your own parts and bolt them on. you got to return the bike as it was given to you. But, you know, you, yeah, you're spending money on a rental. It's like, geez, I own this motorcycle at home, and now I'm going to spend a few thousand bucks on renting a bike. Yeah, well, compared to spending more than that possibly on shipping and then trying to get it unstuck and wasted time and, and again, depreciating and beating on your own motorcycle. You know, why not put the motorcycle, why not put the miles on our bikes instead of yours? Save all yourself all the risk and all the hassle. Come on down and use, again, BMW F800 GS uh, Adventure model right here. And we're going to get the new 750s and 850s here soon, as soon as BMW works out a few bugs with the release of those bikes, as you may have heard about engine problems. Yeah, we've got the bikes. Save yourself the time and hassle. Don't mess with shipping yours internationally. We'll get you all set up. So thanks for watching. Pardon if it gets a little rambly here. Uh, so a bit to coordinate, you know, trying to ride safely, keep in mind the riders behind me and get through to where we're going. Where we're going. But um, watch, like, subscribe, and share. We want to get the news out there. Come on down, and you got to see this to, uh, to understand what it is we're talking about. Check back with you soon.